In this section, we'll cover some academic regulations for master's degree programs, but not all. It is your responsibility to become familiar with all regulations published in the catalog under which you were admitted. The current catalog may be found online. To locate it, go to Apply and then select College Catalog and Student Handbook. You must complete a degree plan with your advisor prior to the second registration. You may obtain a degree plan request form in your departmental office. Be sure to keep your plan up to date with approved changes. A program leading to a master's degree must be completed within six years from the date of the student's initial enrollment for graduate courses. Half credit may be given for courses seven to ten years old upon recommendation by the major advisor. No graduate credit will be given for courses over ten years old. Transfer of credit from another institution is not automatic. If you began your graduate work in another institution, transfer of credits must be approved by the major advisor at the time a degree plan is prepared. After the degree plan is written, approval must be obtained from the advisor and the dean before a course is taken at another institution. The registrar must be informed of all transfer approvals by written memorandum on department letterhead. Confirm that your advisor has performed this very important step. No more than 12 hours for a 36-hour non-thesis program or 6 hours for a 30-hour thesis program will be accepted. Additional regulations governing the transfer of credits can be found in the current catalog. Any graduate student that registers for at least 9 hours in a regular session or 4 hours in a summer session is considered a full-time student. Any student working full-time on a thesis and registered for the appropriate thesis course is also considered a full-time student. Course load shall not exceed 15 hours in a regular session or 7 hours in a summer session. Graduate assistants may not carry a combined work and course load of more than 32 hours per week. As a graduate student, your cumulative grade point average, or GPA, must be 3.0 or better. No grade less than a C will be accepted for graduate credit. No grade of less than a B will be accepted for transfer credit. If you are required to take undergraduate courses to remove deficiencies in your field of study as a condition of full admission, those leveling courses will not be counted toward your graduate GPA. If you are fully admitted to a graduate program and your GPA falls below 3.0, you will be placed on academic probation for one semester or six hours. If you fail to bring your GPA back up during the probation period, you will be placed on academic suspension. To be reinstated, you must obtain written approval from the department chair and the school dean. If you are reinstated, you must earn at least a B on all subsequent graduate courses. If you were admitted on probation and your GPA falls below 3.0, you will be placed immediately on academic suspension. To be reinstated, you must obtain written approval from the department chair and the dean of the school. If you are reinstated, you must earn at least a B on all subsequent graduate courses. Note: If you were admitted on probation and successfully complete 12 semester credit hours with a minimum GPA of 3.0, you may be upgraded to full admission status upon the recommendation of the chair of the major department and with the approval of the dean of the school. Admission to candidacy is a formal university process. It signifies the faculty's recognition that you have completed certain degree requirements and that you are likely to complete all other degree requirements. Application for admission to candidacy must be initiated by you no later than the semester preceding the expected graduation, but after meeting all requirements for candidacy. To be eligible for admission to candidacy, you must complete 12 hours at Sol Ross with a minimum GPA of 3.0, you must be fully admitted to the graduate program, and you must have an approved degree plan on file in the Dean's office. Application forms for admission to candidacy may be obtained from the office of your Dean. The student and the major advisor should establish a graduate committee following these criteria. The committee should be composed of no fewer than three members, at least two representing the major department. One member may be from another department or a professional from outside the university in an appropriate discipline. Faculty members must be members of the graduate faculty. And external members must meet the established requirements for membership to the graduate faculty or the professional equivalents. All candidates for master's degree must pass a comprehensive examination. 
either oral or written or both, as the major department may prefer. This examination may be scheduled through the major advisor any time after the student has been admitted to candidacy and has completed at least 24 semester hours of graduate credit. A passing grade on the examinations must be filed with the Dean's Office at least 10 days prior to commencement at which the degree is to be conferred. If you fail on your first attempt, you will be given the opportunity to retake the examination. Permission for a third and final attempt requires consent of the major advisor, the department chair, and the dean of the school. If you have chosen the thesis option in your degree program, you must be enrolled in a thesis course each semester in which assistance is provided by committee members or when the library or other research facilities at Sol Ross are used. You must be enrolled in a thesis course the semester the thesis is accepted for graduation by the appropriate dean, and you must publicly defend your thesis. Announcements of the thesis defense must be posted in the major department, the appropriate school office, and the office of the provost and vice president for academic and student affairs at least one week prior to the defense. Deadlines for submission of drafts to your committee, public defense, and final copy submission to the dean vary by school. Make sure you find out what those deadlines are and do not miss them. In this section, we'll discuss how graduate school is different from undergraduate school. You will also be presented with tips on how to succeed in graduate school. How is graduate school different from undergraduate school? In graduate school, you will spend less time in class, but spend considerably more preparation time outside of class. Classes are less structured. They may integrate more discussion than lecture. You may only meet once per week, and you may have fewer checkpoints along the way, such as exams, homework, and due dates. Graduate education is more student-centric than teacher-centric. You will be expected to learn things on your own through reading and research. In graduate school, standards are higher than in undergraduate school. As a graduate student, a grade less than a C is considered failing and will not be accepted for credit, and you must maintain a minimum GPA of 3.0. There is also considerably less hand-holding in graduate school. Do not expect to be informed or reminded of important deadlines, policies, or requirements. So how do you become a successful graduate student? First of all, you must take your education into your own hands. Educate yourself about important program requirements, deadlines, and policies. Ask questions. Also, routinely evaluate your own progress toward completion of your degree. Develop relationships with graduate faculty and with other graduate students. Graduate faculty are not only essential to your success in school, but also to your career after graduation. Other graduate students in your program can offer advice and moral support now but will also be your peers in the professional world. Develop effective time management skills. Make use of an academic calendar to keep track of your responsibilities. Also remember to make time for rest and relaxation as well as social time to maintain your physical and mental health. And most importantly, if you need help, do not be afraid to ask for it. If you need help, where do you go? Obviously, talk to your graduate advisor first. Another valuable resource that is available to you as a graduate student is the Graduate Student Center. The mission of the Graduate Student Center is simple, to provide you with the tools and information you need to succeed as a graduate student at Sol Ross State University. What does the center have to offer? A fully equipped computer lab, financial literacy training, external funding directory and application support, financial assistance through fellowships and scholarships, orientation for new students, research and writing support, especially for thesis, educational and career planning, and mentoring and career placement. The Graduate Student Center is here to serve all students, both those on campus and those online. Find us on campus in BAB 104. Find us online at www.solross.edu slash graduates. From the Graduate Student Center homepage, follow the link to facilities and equipment to find information on the computer lab, equipment available for checkout, including the satellite phone and the personal locator beacon, 
and the center, location, and hours of operation. Also discover the services and resources available through the center by following the Graduate Student Services and Resources link. From our home page you will also find a link to our YouTube channel where we have grouped videos into playlists on a variety of topics of interest to graduate students. These videos include those created by Graduate Student Center staff and by other YouTube contributors. To stay abreast of center activities, graduate student news, information, and deadlines, like our Facebook page, 